Bathrooms once again a battleground when it comes to who should be allowed to use them. Dozens gathered at a Target store in the Heights tonight, some opposing the company's decision to allow transgender individuals to use whichever bathroom they choose. Others supporting the store's decision. Channel 2's Bill Spencer was there for the protest. He is live now with both sides. Bill. Yes, see, on this Target store located on Shern Street in the Heights became the target of angry protesters tonight who are calling for a boycott of all of Target's nationwide stores because of Target's decision regarding transgender bathroom use. We're calling on Target to stop targeting our women and children. The hotly debated battle over the bathroom and just who can use it erupted again in Houston Sunday night in front of this Target store. At issue, Target's decision to allow transgender individuals to use whatever bathroom they feel most comfortable using. The city of Houston made it crystal clear without a shadow of a doubt that we're serious and not curious about men going into our restrooms with our women and children. Organizer Tex Christopher, who helped defeat Houston's controversial hero ordinance, is calling upon all Houstonians to boycott Target for its position. Tracy Shannon brought both of her children here to join in on the protest. Rape or molestation is a crime of opportunity, and this just makes more opportunity for someone who would do harm to women or children. No more lies! No more lies! On the other side of this argument, members of the gay, lesbian, and transgender community shouted their strong support for Target's bathroom policy. We think they should be allowed to use the restroom that they identify with. Target has taken a courageous stance and said, you know, we think that's fair too. I support it. I think it's important when these things are happening, even if you're not changing your policy, it is important to state, no, we really want and accept you because that's how you push against this kind of fear mongering. So what actually started out as one protest turned into two with both sides on this issue shouting at each other. They were shouting each other across the street right here at the shopping center. Reporting live in the Heights, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.